Just imagine. Imagine yourself as a drop of water in a vast ocean, where each drop represents an individual vibrating with its own unique energy. And as these drops come together, they create ripples that spread out across the surface of this cosmic ocean, affecting the water all around them. It's similar to how your individual vibration contributes to the collective energy of the universe. Think of it as if we are all one big symphony and every aspect of reality is playing the role of the musicians, playing their own unique instruments, creating individual vibrations, and somewhere, somehow, and some when, these individual vibrations came together and they created a beautiful, harmonious sound that fills the universe and its concert hall. So consider how your individual vibration contributes to the collective energy of your universe, creating a harmonious, interconnected existence. So we welcome you into our ocean and our concert hall. Let's play. Let's play and ripple into this abundant universe. We want to welcome you to episode 106, Harnessing the Energies of an Abundant Universe. And today, in this episode, we're going to delve into the two truths of your existence. And actually, they're not just our truths, because they are found in every religion, as well in our most recent advanced scientific research. The first is that abundance is all there is. And second, in this dimension of reality, everything is vibrational energy. Hey, thanks for joining us on today's live stream. Please consider this our gift to you, an exploration into the spiritual realm, the universal architecture of infinite possibilities. Here we teach, explore, experiment in order to share the secrets passed down from the masters. The thing to re realize or remember is that the chair that you're sitting on, the computer or device that you're looking at, even the room that you're in are not solid objects. That's right. They are just vibrational creations. And for some people, this is still a foreign idea. And for many, even those of us who study and understand this stuff, it's easy to lose sight of everything, everything being a vibrational expression that serves us in its own unique way. And it's not a new concept, as Ross mentioned, right? Even Albert Einstein once said, everything in life is vibration, right? And we are like um, individual, eternal, vibrational whirlpools in the great ocean of all that is. And it's through our individual vibrations that we contribute to the collective energy of the universe. Our energy ripples out and affects those around us, as I mentioned. And ultimately, it shapes the world and the reality we all agree to live. Okay, so now that we've got your interest peaked, <laughs> let's get you exercising some of that energy and vibration. And it's simple, it's painless, and it's fun. So we'd love to know where you're from. Type it in the comments. Where are you tuning in from? So help us out by, by using the energy of those fingers and tap into the city, the, 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 in the country, and, and where you're listening from right now. Uh, hopefully it's not your car because this is a video <laughs> or even the city or the province and the state. Uh, think of it as your way of feeding back some energy to us as we cover this topic for you today. And it also helps everyone to recognize this vast global community that they're a part of. 
just by being here with us. So go ahead, tell us in the comments. And even those of you who are catching the replay, remember that that energy that you interact with, it will, it's equivalent to the energy that you're going to get out of this live stream. So lately, we've been getting more and more requests about how people can get more involved in uh, uh, more advanced trainings in our accountability and implementation program called The Art of Designing Your Reality. So stay tuned, and we'll be sharing those details for you um, for whoever's interested. It's going to be awesome. For now, though, if, you're, if you haven't already done it, we suggest that you join our growing private community of people who are serious about showing up to make a difference in their lives and the lives of those they support and love. We've pinned a link to the top of the comments for you to join our Facebook private group called The Infinity Matrix. But before you go all, get all click happy <laughs> to join yet another group, okay, pause and ask yourself, how serious are you about making the commitment to mastering the art of designing your life? Because we are only interested in people who are the action takers those who are ready to implement what you learn and learn from what you implement. And if that's you, then come on, join us. Okay, it's a great group because uh, this, this year we're turning up the heat in that group and have a bunch of stuff in store for that private group and the VIP members in there. Once you're accepted into the group, you'll get to mingle with over 8,000 current like-minded members. Plus, you get the opportunity to join our VIP list, which gives you exclusive access to content and bonuses from time to time. So just check out the link. It's pinned at the top. Um, and make sure you answer all when you get there. Make sure you answer all three questions, because we won't be letting any, anyone in if they're in our team serious enough to just answer those simple three questions. All right. Uh, and, and also, uh, you may have noticed some of our posts. Um, about our upcoming masterclass with Expansion Alchemy. And tomorrow. this month, yeah, that's right, tomorrow. This month's exclusive content is the future isn't, uh, the future isn't what it used to be, okay? And it's created specifically for Expansion Alchemy co community. And uh, I think there's about 20 coaches there now that are tra and trainers and thought leaders on the roster, all teaching cutting-edge material at different times. We have our slot tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So if you want to know more about how to join us there, drop a hashtag expansion in the comments and we'll share that link with you uh, when we're done here on the stream today. That's hashtag expansion. If you want to know uh, how to catch us on that, uh, it's a two-hour masterclass tomorrow called the, the Future Isn't What It Used To Be. All right. So let's, uh, let's pause for a second and uh... Gary, and let's uh, say hello to Tracy. Hi, Tracy. She's like, hi, Ross and Gary. Melanie, of course. And uh, then we have uh, Jen, Jenya yeah. from the mm -hmm. UK, Bread, nice. uh, Bedfordshire. Thank you for joining us. Sharon uh, from Grand Junction. Uh, Lax, Laxme from North of Atlanta. Great, Georgia. Phenomenal. And hello from Chicago land, Illinois. Kathleen, thank you so much. Um, it's great to have everyone here. More people are joining. And as you join our, as people pop on, we'll, uh, we'll take a pause for the cause and just uh, say a little hello. Again, we love the comments. So if you have questions or you need clarification, pop it in the comments. And if we have time, we will get to it. Even if you're on the replay, we spend days because this, these, our videos get replayed over and over again and such. And so if you're adding comments, the system tells us that there's somebody has said something. So we go in and we answer your questions. So please replay or not replay, just uh, interact. Um, and, uh, and those of you as well can also do this on our, uh, our YT channel. And uh, when this the link gets, is uh, also there too, and then that it's also yeah, pinned so, as well. For the, this yeah. gets dropped generally on Saturdays. So, so you've heard us discuss the energy of the universe and how you are, you are the energy, and how you need to connect with the energy you are 
already connected with in order to begin manifesting what you've already manifested, but you don't, don't know, but you don't know that. <laughs> okay, you see, you got that? Oh, you want me to repeat it? Repeat it? You've heard us discuss the energy of the universe and how you are the energy of the universe and how you connect to the energy and how you're already connected in order to begin manifesting that which you're already manifesting, but you don't know it. Okay, everybody got that? Okay, so what does that mean? So many people are not really aware about this powerful effect. And a better way to put it is consciously aware. And yet, it explains the meaning and the purpose of your life here on Earth. You have heard that absolutely everything is energy and that no energy can ever be lost. It can change, it can be converted, be contained, or it can dissipate, but it's never lost and it's never destroyed. You also know energy can have many forms like your kinetic energy and your acoustic thermal, uh, your light energy, and many, many other variations. It can continuously change from one state into another. Life changed the moment we discovered how to make thermal energy, fire. And what we could call a byproduct, the, an evolution that became inevitable. It's certainty providing no galactic, providing there was no galactic interference from like a meteoric proportion that, that ever happened, is the fact of and all of this is a fact of the history books. From here, we developed kinetic energy from the movement of water turning a turbine, which, and now it becomes magnetic energy. And then we had the game changer. It was absolutely a game changer. Electric energy. Flip the switch and the electric energy now begins a steady stream of light and thermal energy. Now, and now, water turns into light. Thus, one form of energy can now transform into another type of energy or energies that can never be lost or destroyed. But wait, there's more. <laughs> we can also do something else with this energy. We can store it like a battery. In the movie, The Matrix, Morpheus pointed out a very overlooked fact that humans, you and I, humans are really batteries. And it was pointed out for effect rather than actual fact, but nevertheless, he was spot on. How efficient of a battery now that's questionable. In other words, how you utilize your energy, how you expand it, how you choose to share it is what today's all about. You see, what happens here on Earth also applies as, as kind of sort of a template, a pattern everywhere else in the cosmos. Here on Earth, we humans are constant transmitters of energy, whether we are aware of it or not. And I'll say, <laughs> I'll say most are not. We're always sending out and taking in energy through our feeling, thinking, words, actions, and everything is stored in your body, in your soul, in the Akashic records, and most of all, in the infinity matrix. The matrix is like your causal computer from where these energies can be stored and where these energies will eventually come back to you. 
Yeah, and you know, we're not we're not talking what we're what we're talking about here isn't just movie screen Hollywood special effects stuff. Okay. The idea of everything being energy and vibration can be found throughout the concept of resonance. So resonance occurs when two objects vibrate at the same frequency, causing one object to transfer energy to the other. So this is a phenomenon that can be easily observed with musical instruments where vibrations from one instrument can cause another instrument to vibrate and then creating a harmonious sound, right? Then there's also the concept of entrainment. So entrainment occurs when two objects with different vibrations come into contact with each other, causing them to synchronize their vibrations, Right, And this can be observed in nature, like when fireflies synchronize their flashing lights, right? or when a group of crickets chirp in unison. Right, So resonance and entrainment are happening all around us on so many different levels. Again, not at the conscious level, but it's happening on all different kinds of levels. So what does mean? What does all this mean for us? How can we harness this energy to live more fulfilling and abundant life? Well, the answer is in understanding and aligning our vibrations and the vibrations of abundance in the universe. So here are three simple ways that, to do that. Okay, first, uh, first thing to do is to do a regular form of meditation, visualization, or hypnosis, self-hypnosis process. Any of those will allow you to quiet the mind from all the, all the chatter and the chaos and the clutter, right? So that you can become aware of the inner vibrations that are going on in the form of thoughts, ideas, beliefs about abundance and your reality. And as you become more in tune with your vibrations, you can start to make choices to align with them and align more with the vibrations of the abundant universe you desire, and ultimately experiencing more and more harmonious existence. And another way to align with our vibrations with the universe is through the practice of gratitude. And you may have heard this in all kinds of different ways, but it can't be said enough right? Gratitude allows us to shift our focus from what we lack to what we have. And so praising and, and raising our vibrations and attracting positive energy into our lives is a practice of deep and sincere gratitude, which can make a profound impact on your reality. Gary, can I pause for just a second? Yeah. So um, Gabrielle, she goes, I'm utterly exhausted, work hard, and insomnia. How do I recharge my batteries? Exactly what Gary just said. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah. So now that's what we call synchronicity. Right. So that is, right. is, follow what he just said. I'll, we'll put it in the comments as well. But that yeah. is So those two, first the first step. two is, first is, Practice some regular form of meditation, visualization, or self-hypnosis, and that'll make right. a drastic difference. And in doing that, it'll start to quiet the mind um, and the chatter and the chaos, right? And, um, and, and therefore, you'll sleep better. You'll, you won't have to work as hard because you'll be more focused. You'll be more um, in tune with the vibration of, of flow. Right. And then if you're doing gratitude, then that also that gives you energy because that, that you, 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 because you're expressing and, and, and connecting with gratitude, it feeds you energy because it comes from a place of abundance. Right. And then the third way that you can align with your vibrations and the abundance in the universe is by pursuing your passions, which again aligns with the feeling exhausted, right? I'm sure you're not the only one, Gabrielle. So there, there's a lot of, we hear that a lot. So, <laughs> right? That people just get, they feel tired. They feel burnt out. They feel like, um, you know, where are they going to get the time, the energy, the resources to do the things they want to do? 
So again, it's in these three pieces right here. And we'll give you some more as we go on today. But the, the, when when you when you um, when you pursue your passion, when you tune in, uh, tune into what you're passionate about at any given moment, and then act on that passion to the fullest of your capacity for as long as you're capable with the resources you have, right? And to act on that passion without any expectation for the outcome based on those actions, right? Mm -hmm. So essentially, you do it purely because you are passionate about it not because you think or hope you'll get something else out of it, an ulterior motive, right? Just play your vibration of joy, happiness, passion, and abundance, and the universe will start to resonate and entrain to, to give you a reflection to match what's at the core of your spiritually evolving life force, or S-E-L-F, your spiritually evolving life force, yourself. Yeah, so... It's like we said earlier, from Einstein to Tesla, we know that everything in life is vibration. And if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. This is in total agreement with a spiritual law that mystics have known for eons. It says that everything is energy and vibration and no energy can ever get lost. It can only change from one form to another. And I know I'm repeating myself, but you really need to understand this. You really need to understand this. These realizations can bring you a step closer to the bigger question of life itself. What is life? What is existence? Well, everything that happens in your life returns to you as a vibration of a reflection. What you encounter throughout today, tomorrow, is nothing but energy complexes that you have at one time created and are now coming back to you from the infinity matrix, traveling on the infinite loop until you finally put it to rest. In other words, you basically do not experience anything new. You only experience what you had once created. Your day-to-day -day experiences or constructs are energies that you once sent out into the universe through, oh, through your past selfishlessness. It's like an open loop. You see, in this lifetime, <clears throat> you have agreed to experience the effects of what your loveless feelings and your thoughts and words and actions had on others. And that's right. The meaning of your life, <laughs> it's, it's on rewind, where you're reliving and once again experiencing the effects of your own causes coming back to you in various forms, like all our daily experiences and even your fate and your destiny. The, the term uh, Earth University was once coined as a way of associating all of these life experiences and this loop so that whenever something bad comes back to you and into your life, or you have a negative emotional charge to a situation or a person or a thing, you can learn from it. You're in class. For instance, um, there is someone who really upsets you because you think that this person is wrong, okay? You know and understand that life or the outer world is nothing but a mirror of yourself. And the moment this energy potentially comes back to you, like the moment this person who upsets you or even hurts you gives you the perfect and the best moment to clear up that old karma, it becomes a time for self-reflection. But how do I do this, you ask? 
by courageously looking within and seeing if any person, place, or things come up from your subconscious mind or deep from your soul. A very past event or a relationship or a thing that you can relate to this experience. And that might explain it as an experience which you have not yet overcome, not yet dealt with, not yet cleared up. Because if you miss the chance and you don't do that self-reflection, you don't do it right away. It could be that tomorrow the energy has faded away and you've missed the chance, the opportunity for that self-reflection and for the clearance of this situation. So what does that mean? It means it will continue back on the loop. You don't stop the cycle. It's moments like this when you're doing that self-reflection. It's moments like this. It's tough. I mean, it's so tough to discover <clears throat> and admit that you have character flaws. You have weaknesses like hate, jealousy, malice, deceit, vanity, pride, and so on. But you have to be honest if you want to make progress. Once you become aware that you have a problem, an issue, a strong emotional charge, you can turn to your higher mind, your hero within, and ask for help and guidance to get through this and clear this block. Because it is blocking you. So when this happens, take the following steps whenever you face a, a problematic situation. First of all, pause and take command of yourself. There is no victim mentality allowed ever. When you ask yourself, why am I experiencing this again? Why did this happen? What does this have to do with me? What is it teaching me? Which weakness is behind this negative behavior? Now, what images, what sounds, feelings, or memories are coming up in your mind's eye? Now, without becoming overcome by any residual emotions, pause and reflect on what's coming through. Observe them. Is there sadness, anger, sorrow? Do you feel remorse? Should you feel remorse? Do you feel how you have caused pain to others and feel deeply sorry? If so, then from the bottom of your heart, become resolved not to do this or anything similar again. This step is a, it's an honest request for forgiveness while also forgiving others who you think have wronged. Make peace with everyone, followed by your deepest desire to extend unconditional love and make amends if and when possible. And finally, with an honest heart, Think of what you can put in place of your former behavior. Leave no vacuum to be filled through happenstance. Fill it with a declaration of love and gratitude. This way, you won't do it again. Besides unconditionally loving all that is, this cycle of clearing up is your most important meaning and purpose of your life here on Earth University. Let that sink in. Besides unconditional loving, this cycle of clearing up is your most important meaning and purpose of your life here at Earth University. 
remembering that your life on Rewind shows you constantly throughout the day what you need to clear up in your cycle of life. And if you use this process successfully, you can leave this cycle of incarnate forever. Now, here's the piece that's missed by most. You are cosmic energy, giving out a powerful stream of cosmic energy. You are cosmic energy, giving out a powerful stream of cosmic energy. One. Gary and I, we're, we're just helping to open the flow. In other words, turning off the garden hose and getting the badass fire hose out here, turn it on and open it up and blast your splendor and your wonderment across the freaking planet. That's why you're here. There is a calling to who you are and you must be that person. In other words, what you give out what you get back requires you to factor in who you are in this cosmic tapestry. When you protect yourself uh, into the now, when you project yourself into the now, it's that karma, it's that attraction, it's that continuation of that powerful being that you've been wanting to be. So be it. Don't wait for anyone to give you permission or tell you that it's okay. It's wonderful to understand that in the context of everything that we've been talking about here, it all comes down to the path of least resistance, clearing away the minutia, putting everything into perspective, allowing everything to fall under the umbrella of unconditional love. Don't you just love knowing that you have the ability to be joyful, regardless of the conditions, practicing, practicing it anyway on easy things and then getting there? Then you will be the creator of harnessing the conditions that enlighten your soul. You know, it's funny, not odd funny, not funny funny, but how people, they, they, find, they find beliefs that don't serve them. But if you care about how you feel, if you're willing just a little bit to feel the worthiness and love of all that is, you can work your way out of that maze that society puts you in and where you can find how the universe really feels about you. Yes, you. Because you, we, are eternal beings. Returning again and again to this glorious place in space and time and reality. Nothing in all of the universe is more exhilarating than to be here together again with all of you, to explore with you, to refine and come to be better and discover better ways of living, to find more harmony with one another. Regardless of what you may see, hear, or read, this planet is not ending. It is only beginning. It is not diminishing. It is evolving and expanding. It's not in trouble. It's the best place that has ever been in all of time as it continues on the spiraling path across the cosmos. This is how you harness the energy of the universe. All right. So let me, let me do a quick recap. While laying out a roadmap for you to harness the energies of this abundant universe. All right. 
So what you need to do is work on these five steps. You can use your imagination to come up with what will work for you in each of the steps. However, if you're in a place in your life where you really need to turn things up a notch and truly tap into the universal abundance and need support with that, you can reach out to either Ross or myself on DM in the messages, and uh, and we can share some alternatives and resources that may help you. We can connect with you and talk to you about, about that. Um, so how do you manifest abundance? Here are those five steps. First, set clear intentions. Okay, whatever that means for you, set clear intentions. The first step in manifesting abundance or any time of manifesting that, uh, that, that you're taught is to set clear intentions. And this means being specific about what you want to attract into your life. Write down your intentions and be as specific as possible. For example, if you want to manifest a new job, write down the type of job you want the salary you want, the location you want to work in, and any other details that are important to you. Now, you may not get it exactly like that, but your probability of the universe reflecting that back to you is greater so that it's something that's, um, that's at least very similar to that. You're more likely to get that. It's like having a bullseye, a bullseye target in the center of the bullseye. If you don't have that bullseye to shoot for, then you may not hit anything on the board at all. Right? But if you have that bullseye and you focus on it and you put and project that intention, the probability is that over time, you'll work on getting better and better at hitting that marker. Right? So set your clear intentions. Second is to visualize your desires, okay? A, a super underused power that we have as human beings is using is, is our visualization, our, our ability to imagine, it, imagine things. Once you have set your intentions, it's time to visualize what you want. So you close your eyes, or if you can do it with your eyes open, imagine yourself already in possession of your desired outcome. Visualize your, yourself enjoying the benefits of your new job or your the relationship you desire. Okay, and the more vivid and real you can make it, the visualization, the more powerful it'll be. And that's because your unconscious, your other than conscious mind, does not know the difference between something that's vividly imagined or what's actually real. So if you hold on to that thing that's vividly imagined, it starts to bring that into your reality. The synchronicities, the, the actions, the behaviors, everything will start to fall into place for that to be your reality. Okay, number three, believe in yourself. This is easier said than done sometimes, we get it. But believe that you are capable of manifesting abundance. Why is that possible? Why? First of all, if we go back to the very first thing that I talked about, the very first rule, right? Then you should see that that is possible. You've got to believe that you are capable of manifesting abundance. And if we pull that first rule, the rule is that everything is abundance. So whatever you're doing it, you're doing it in abundance. Whatever you're manifesting, you're doing it in abundance. It may not be the abundance you like or you enjoy, but there's an abundance of it. Okay? So believe that the universe is actually conspiring in your favor and that everything you desire is on its way to you if you allow it to be. If you just sometimes get out of the way, <laughs> right? <laughs> so when you have faith in yourself and the universe, you are more likely to just attract the abundance into your life. Okay? And then number four is to take actions. Manifesting is not just about 
sitting back and waiting for things to happen. Sometimes that can happen, but that comes from actions you took <laughs> to make it come to you. Okay, you need to take action towards your goals. And this means taking steps towards your desired outcome, even if they're small. For example, if you want to manifest that new job, start by updating your resume, just putting the energy out there. Okay, that you're open for it. Or networking with people in your field, starting the conversation about what's possible, what's available. Right, Just taking that action starts to open up the energetic portals and frequencies and the resonances that are going to allow you to step into that reality more probably. And then the final one, which I talked about earlier, is gratitude. Okay, Be grateful for what you have in your life. Expressing gratitude for things you already have attracts more abundance into your life. It's a simple practice, but a powerful one. So take a few minutes every day to focus on the things you're grateful for. It can be anything, anything from the roof over your head to the people in your life, to the infinite amount of miracles that happen in your body for it to just sustain life. Right? A gratitude journal is a great, great idea. It's a simple yet powerful exercise where you can keep that it can help you to keep focus on positive things in your life so that when it seems like there's an abundance of crap in your life, <laughs> okay, you can go to your 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 gratitude journal and 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 rekindle the emotions of the gratitude in the way that you prefer it. Okay? So you do this exercise where all you need is a notebook. A, a, or a journal or and a pen. That's it. Right? Doesn't cost anything, but can be super valuable to your life. And then every day, take a few minutes to write down three things. Start with three and then build up as you can. But start with three things that you're grateful for. They can be anything from a beautiful sunset to a kind word from a friend. It's important to be specific about what you're grateful for and to do it with, with, with integral uh, gratitude, right? So don't just, oh, I'm grateful. Don't, don't just do it as, a, as an exercise. Do it actually feel the gratitude. That energy, that vibration, right? Starts to create those principles we talked about of resonance and frequency, right? We talked about frequency last week. So as you write down your list, that in and of itself has its own frequency, its own energy, and its own resonance, right? Take a moment to reflect on each item and really feel the gratitude in your heart, okay? And you can also add some declarations of reality to reinforce your positive energy too. For example, I am grateful for the abundance in my life. And I attract more abundance every day. And you say it as a declaration out into the to the to the the universe, to reality, to the matrix, that you're claiming this to be a truth for you, not an affirmation where you're hoping it. This you're declaring it. I'm grateful for the abundance in my life, and I attract more abundance every day. Right, and then harnessing the energies of the abundance. The abundant universe is all about being aware of your thoughts, your emotions, and actions, and then aligning them with your desires. And by setting clear intentions, by visualizing your desires, by believing yourself, by taking actions and expressing gratitude, you can manifest abundance in all areas of your life. Okay, so setting clear intentions is crucial because it allows you to focus your energy and your intention on the things you tr truly desire. So when you set a clear intention, you send a powerful message to the universe that you are ready and open to receive your desired outcome. To set your clear intentions, start by identifying what it is that you truly want. 
Be specific about the details. Don't be afraid to dream big. As we talk about in our, in our five-day challenge, dream big. Okay, whether it's a new job, a loving relationship, or a healthy body, or a certain amount of finances, or things that you want to achieve and acquire or do, be clear about what you want to manifest. And once you've identified your, your intention, write it down in present tense, which is where you're making it into a declaration. Okay, a declaration as if you have already achieved it. For example, I am now living in my dream home by the beach. If that's well, if that's one of your dreams, one of your visions. Okay, or I am now loving in a loving and supportive relationship with my soulmate. Declare it as your reality. Okay, and say it with conviction. Say it with 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 piercing conviction to let the, the matrix and the universe and, the, and reality, whatever you call it, let it know that you mean business and you're in charge here. Right? And, and so you, you do it with strength of your intention. So how do you strengthen your intention? You take a few minutes to close your eyes. You visualize yourself already living your desired outcome. Imagine the sights, the sounds, as Ross said, all the senses, the sights, the sounds, the emotions that come with it. See yourself fully enjoying every moment of your dream life. And as you visualize, you repeat that intention statement, that, that declaration to yourself again internally. You focus on, on the feeling of already having it achieved. And this helps you to program your subconscious mind with the belief that you can and will manifest your desired outcome. Okay, visualization is a powerful tool that is overlooked, but it can help you align your energy and focus your mind on your desired outcomes. And by seeing yourself already living your dream life, you can attract the energy of that reality into your present moment. So how do you refine your visualization skills? Okay, and we're not leaving any stones unturned because I know you guys are asking these questions, right? We're not leaving any stones unturned. So how you do that is you find a quiet place, okay, where you can relax and focus. Again, close your eyes open and you can practice doing it with your eyes open, do kind of a daydream thing too. That works for some people, okay? Take a few deep breaths. Allow yourself to let go of any stress or tension in whatever ways that you need to do that, okay? Get to this place of feeling calm and centered. And then from there, begin to think about and imagine your desired outcome in one detail. Start with one detail and then build on that. And then build on that. And then build on that. So you, you can get as much detail as possible. Right? So for example, if I wanted to manifest an app, okay, then, then, then I would imagine the color of an app. Is it the green ones? Is it the red ones? Is it the, the right? So I'd, I'd start with one aspect that I can think of. And I would hold on to that until I can go, okay, now I got the color. Now what's the shape? And then I go to the shape. Okay, now when I get the shape, what's the details? Okay, well, there's the reflection, the shining, and then there's the stem. And then the, and so from there, I was, okay, now I, I, I can do that. And then I can maybe even imagine the, the slicing of the apple and open an inside, and I can see the color on the inside and, and the juices and then the, the seeds. And so you, you start with one thing and you build and you build and you build and you build with it. Okay, until you can you can see yourself already living your dream life. You start with one piece, you build and you grow and you strength, and you feel the emotion that come with it. Right? What do you see around you? What do you hear? What do you feel in your body and in your soul? Those will help you to visualize. And as you visualize, you be, you can be aware of any limiting beliefs or negative thoughts that may arise, that may pop up, that may get in the way. Acknowledge them. Don't try to hide from them. This is not all everything's rainbows and unicorns. Those things are going to show up, I guarantee you. All right. Otherwise, you'd be having that dream experience already. 
right? So acknowledge them, but then put them aside, release them for a time, suspend them, okay? And then when possible, work on releasing and letting them go and replacing them with positive declarations of reality that support your visualization, okay? For example, if you visualize yourself in that new job, you declare to yourself, I am fully capable and deserving of this job, and I'm excited to begin this new chapter in my life. And you do that as you're visualizing. Okay? And believing in yourself is crucial because it allows you to overcome any limiting beliefs, fears that may be holding you back from manifesting your deepest desires. Because when you believe in yourself, you tap into your inner power and your confidence, which can help you to take the necessary actions to bring your dreams to life. So how do you, how do you work with your beliefs? Okay, <laughs> all right. You identify the limiting belief or negative thought that you have about yourself, and you did that in the previous step, right? Uh, for example, you may believe that you are not good enough to achieve your goal or that you are not deserving of, of abundance. And whatever it is, once you've identified the belief, write it down on a piece of paper. And if you can, try to reframe the belief into a positive, empowering state and turn it into your new declaration of reality. For example, if your limited belief is I'm not good enough, right? Then you could reframe it to I am more than capable of achieving my goals and I trust in my abilities to succeed. And then as you repeat the positive statement, be aware of any negative thoughts or beliefs that arise from that. And if they become too difficult to reframe or let go of, again, reach out to either Ross or myself in DM, and we can help you to explore options to put you on the fast track for changing those things that you want to change. Okay? And remember that the universe responds to your energy and beliefs. So keep your focus on positivity and self-belief and trust that you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Now, it's all up to you. You have to decide to take action. Recap what you got out of the stream today. Okay. And go ahead. Actually, tell us in the comments. Tell us in the comments what was one aha moment or insight that you got that was valuable for you. Okay? So Tracy says, Tracy says, I have a vision statement uh, for every aspect of my life. Very nice. Um, nice. In real time. I keep reading them and resonating with them. I am currently manifesting I awesome. love the present tense. Go. The present I tense is so powerful. Yeah. So share those wins and those insights. I appreciate that, Trace. Thank you. And, and also, is there anything you would have liked for us to dive deeper into in this conversation? Yeah. Let us know that in the comments. Okay. What, if anything, would you like to share about your experience with the energies of abundance in the universe, kind of like Tracy did there, okay? And the reason I'm asking, the reason we're asking you to put these in the comments is because it lets us know that what we're delivering for you, for you, for you in the content is landing with you guys and gals, okay? And also it helps us to understand what it is you want more of us, more from us um, or less of us in upcoming streams. So go ahead and let us know, in the, let us know uh, your wins, your insights, your ahas in the comments, along with the, your, the areas that you'd like to have more support and resources, okay? And we'll circle back. Uh, we'll, we'll always circle back in, uh, and, stream and come back and comment on them, even if we don't get a chance to do them live on the, on the screen here. And also, that goes for you, those of you on the replay. We come back and re we're, we're reviewing them as well. So... Um, <clears throat> Tracy said, I've just moved out of Johannesburg and moved into onto the beach. Oh, you go, girl. Uh, mm -hmm. My house is currently being built and will be at ready end of May. I'm working remotely and earn what you go. Awesome. Oh, nice. That's amazing. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Keep it up. 
Yeah, everybody go ahead and give her some hearts and love and emojis on that one. That's amazing. Uh, now I just need a boyfriend. All right. Yeah, you go ahead and do the same thing you did to manifest those things. Just change the, uh, the, the, <laughs> the thing you want to manifest. <laughs> Tracy, I'm only going to give you one, 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 tell you one thing. Take away need. Yeah. Need, need, need projects lack. Lack. Yeah. It starts from a place of lack, right? Okay. Yeah. And, and so take one, one of the, uh, what, what Gary was just saying and use your gratitude journal and describe to yourself and to the universe what and who that boyfriend is. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. be that, be that you're everything you've said so far is all about the present tense, which is awesome. That's, that's it. You, you have, be, you have become manifesting. Okay. Nice. And you manifested, you became the house, you became the beach, you became the, the, the work lifestyle because you are them. Same rules of supply for boyfriends. Yeah. There's and what no you can do with that, and this goes with this goes with anything that you want to manifest is if Absolutely. when you can notice, like if you have an idea of the traits that you want in that significant other, right? Whenever you notice that trait being expressed by anybody out there, you show gratitude for it. Doesn't have to be that person right away. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And then that person will start to show up. Right, you'll start to see very similar or close to, and and you're grateful for those until you get it the way that you want. Right, and Jenya says, "I've learned, um, I've learned or learning that I am letting go of wanting, yes, um, to control how others react to me, uh, living my life." You go, awesome, yeah, you live your nice. life for you, girl. Do you? Nice job, great. Yeah. Absolutely. We're a hundred percent behind that. And, uh, you know, we, we talk about that a lot in the, in the badass challenge. You need to put, you need to prioritize you, right? You need to bring you to the front of the line of priority and take care of you and your passion, your desire, your dream, so that you can be fully there for those around you and the way that they need you. Right. So you're showing up as the, your true authentic self. Yeah. Life is definitely rigged in your favor. Absolutely. It is hundred <laughs> percent from Rumi. Yes. All right. So thanks for being here, everyone. We're running um, into our hour here. So thanks for being here. We appreciate you showing up and are deeply grateful for your participation. Remember that you can join our private group through the link that's pinned on the top of the comments and you can catch all our previous live streams. And this one will go up soon too um, over the weekend uh, on our other platform that Facebook doesn't like us to mention. Um, but it's that place that has the Y and the T in its initials. Uh, so just use our handle at Infinity Matrix when you get there and it'll take you to all uh, to our channel. And you can remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications if you like our content. Because um, we do things there that we don't do in other places as well. So you might want to grab some of uh, that content there as well. Also tomorrow, we're on Expansion Alchemy platform doing our two-hour masterclass at 10 a.m. Pacific time. It's called Future Isn't What It Used To Be. Uh, if you want to know how to check that out, uh, type hashtag expansion and we'll drop a link to, uh, to you. So you, as soon as we're done here, we'll come back and drop a link for you um, in the comments. And that's hashtag expansion. And we will know that you're interested in, in checking that out. So that's it for our stream for everyone today. My name is Gary Johnson. This is my partner, Ross Arnson. Um, this is Hacking the Infinite Matrix. We, we stream live every Thursday here on Facebook at 9 a.m. Pacific. Next week, our stream is titled Abundance Through Mindful Manifesting. Uh, we hope that you enjoy the session today uh, we, we, and, and that we brought value to your life. Until next time, we dare you to be exceptional. The only way to do that is to implement what you learn and learn from what you implement. So until next time, be well, everyone. We'll see you next week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. So we truly hope you enjoyed this latest live stream. Each week, we bring you the best in cutting-edge techniques and processes to help you better yourself and create the reality you desire. 
In order to stay notified for more live streams like this, as well as any upcoming interviews, master labs, or time clips, be sure to click the like button and ring that bell. As a matter of fact, you might be ready to step things up for yourself. You see, everything and everyone you've been exposed to in our live streams all have one thing in common. They harness their own potential, claim their badass self, raise their game, and leveled up. Whether it be in business, personal, romantic, for whatever dimension of life you choose, there's always a next level. So we encourage you to rekindle your passion, your purpose, and spirit, and step it up, and register for our next free five-day badass challenge. The link is below, and we are excited to see you take a leap into a new reality that only you can imagine.